guys, Sandy Ingram here. Welcome. This video topic was not scheduled for today. However, the severity of the subject changed the channel schedule. Economists are now explaining why they are warning developing countries about the BRICS currency. We are also learning why possibly Iraq has not applied to BRICS. This is a serious issue because it can significantly affect smaller countries. But first, welcome to our new subscriber. If you are looking for a basic understanding of how the Forex market works and how to get started in investing, you can join the channel's membership for video on demand lecture. The link is in the description. Now, Let's hear the latest and damaging news on the BRICS economy. In additional news, and this may be why Iraq has not applied to join BRICS, Zimbabwe's former finance minister, Tendai Biti, is concerned that moving away from the US dollar, the main currency for many countries, could have adverse effects. As Zimbabwe considers joining the alliance in 2024, BT advised President Menangagwa to refrain from following the BRICS strategy of de-dollarization. BT warns that such a move could lead to financial instability, which would spell disaster for Zimbabwe and the BRICS coalition. The ex-finance minister Beatty argues, the regime's pursuit of de-dollarization would be extremely harmful, potentially harming workers and pensioners. He also argues that the necessary conditions for de-dollarization are not in place and suggests that the idea of local currencies dominating the world market is unrealistic. While the leading BRICS countries may be able to do without the US dollar and switch to local currencies, the same cannot be said for developing countries. These findings align with economists worldwide who warn developing countries of abandoning the dollar, especially if the country receives millions of dollars each year in US aid, which cannot be matched by the new BRICS development bank. The BRICS nations, namely Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, wield significant influence on the global stage. However, their impact on the economies of developing nations is a subject of intense debate and scrutiny. Nigeria, with its abundant natural resources, has always had a complex relationship with the BRICS, particularly China. China's economic prowess and hunger for resources have often resulted in a seemingly one-sided relationship. On the surface, Nigeria benefits from the influx of Chinese investments and infrastructure projects. Yet, the long-term sustainability of this relationship is questionable, with China's dominance potentially stifling local industries and creating an over-reliance on Chinese goods. In contrast, Bangladesh, another developing nation, has managed to carve a different path. Despite the financial influence of BRICS, particularly India, Bangladesh has held its ground economically. The key lies in its booming textile industry, which has allowed it to maintain a level of financial independence. This, coupled with strategic foreign policies, has enabled Bangladesh to navigate the BRICS influence with a level of success. Now, let's shift our focus to Ukraine. The country's financial situation has been significantly affected by its geopolitical conflict with Russia. Ukraine has struggled to maintain its financial stability, with the BRICS influence playing a considerable role. On the other hand, Mexico, while not directly involved in any geopolitical conflict with the BRICS, has felt the financial ripple effects. The country has experienced economic slowdowns, in part due to China's prominent role in global manufacturing, which has overshadowed Mexico's own manufacturing industry. In summary, the BRICS influence on developing economies is a multifaceted issue. On one hand, it can provide a boost in the form of investments and infrastructure development. On the other, it can lead to over-reliance, stifling of local industries, and economic slowdowns. In the case of geopolitical conflict, as with Ukraine and Russia, the BRICS influence can further exacerbate financial instability. Hence, while the BRICS nations undoubtedly play a crucial role in global economics, their impact on developing countries is a delicate balancing act, one that requires careful navigation and robust economic policies.